Well, Mark, three points to sign off, not only the year, but the decades. Are you pleased with, with the, the win? Yeah, the, the win was more important than anything. Um, I thought we played quite well. I thought we were in control of the game. Um, from from our box to the edge of theirs, we were, we were good. Um, we, we asked the players to be calm in possession and keep switching the play because you know that Macclesfield are going to get bodies behind the ball and space is going to be on the outsides. And we did that, but we just didn't create that guilt edge chance to to get us in front. You said, analysing the Stevenage game, that people became a little bit panicked. It didn't really seem to happen out there. They were a little bit calmer, they were a little bit more patient when it came to it. it yeah, we, we tried to emphasise that yesterday in training and today before the game that, you know, don't attack straight through the middle all the time because that's where their strength is. We've got to keep moving their block about and keep penetrating and we'll either get a free kick or we'll get a chance during the 90 minutes because you know they can't cover all the uh, the spaces the whole ta uh, the whole game and and that was key and I wanted a control performance hoping for an early goal we didn't get it we played with four strikers but the players showed tremendous discipline to to stay in their sh sort of shape and stick to the game plan and we got it done in the end Aaron Wilson then coming across his man across the front post to head home You've been asking him to do that for so long. I've been asking him to do that be, for three years. <laughs> you must be so relieved for that. Uh, uh, he's had some, he uh, said that he's had his um, contact lenses for Christmas. <laughs> so hopefully he gets them cleaned up and ready for New Year's Day. But will you show players now, like, this is what we should be doing from these situations? This he can't. It's, it's about desire. And that was desire to get on the end of a cross and win the game for his teammates. Because at half time, I asked for somebody to step up. You know, whoever it is, somebody has to step up and win us the game. And um, today it was Faz. At the other end of the pitch, another clean sheet. Yeah. I think that's the 17th in all competitions this season. That's some stat. And if you have that down one end, you're always likely to win at the uh, score at the other. It gives us a chance. And imagine if we get the other bit right. You know, I think we've got the most clean sheets in the EFL, or certainly close, which is a brilliant achievement. And uh, we've just got to try and work at the other end of the pitch now. And it's up to me to try and come up with something to make us more potent. Adam Smith has been holding down that number one shirt over the last few games. Are you pleased with his performances and how he's he's stepped up to the plate? Yeah, he's, he looks calm. He's had one shot to save today, which I think I would have saved. Um, but he looks calm and um, he's not done anything wrong. So it's up to him to like and the rest of the boys to lose their shirts. It's um, it's not me that leaves them out of the team. It's, it's them that, that give their shirts away. Another quick turnaround to, to Wednesday when we play Exeter. Uh, four points so far from the two games. It'd be nice to, to mark the Christmas yeah. period with either another point or even a win. Yeah, a bit of a local derby, I suppose. Mm. Uh, they'll bring a good following, should be a good crowd. Uh, tough game, they're going really well. Big physical team and uh, got some good players. It'll be a tough game, but it's one that we, we can look forward to. Matt Mills has come off at half time. Was that tactical or was it just no. precautionary? Yeah, precautionary. I had a sore, I had a sore groin. Um, so, um, and we also felt that with Liam Kitchen's left foot, he might be able to open them up from deep with his left foot in a more orthodox position. Hopefully, though, he would have shaken that off and his brother Joe would have be fit for the next time. Yeah, hopefully, they'll both be fit and available for selection. Well, enjoy New Year's Eve with yep. three points. And New Year. We'll see you New Year's Day. Happy New Year to everyone. Yeah.